Piece of cake. Same again? Uh, another cup of those, please. Oh, I never had you down as a tequila girl. And there you go. Oh. Hmm. Full of surprises. Oh, that I definitely knew. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Oh, you don't hang about. <laughs> Listen, I, uh... You're still gonna be here when I get back, aren't you? That's a risk you're gonna have to take. Cassie, what are you... <laughs> oh, come on for air, come on for air. I want to be someone else so I'll explode Floating upon the surface for the birds The birds The birds You're in too late. On my way.
As I was just saying, the inspection could happen any time soon, so the pressure's on. Pressure on. Sorry. Kirsty. Reception committee. Yay. We all know that the Trust could be looking for redundancy soon. Yes, and we could thank Mr Hansen for that one, no doubt. Mm. Everything is riding on today. And it's not going to be the nursing staff who let the team down. We've got a test, loud and clear. Yes, Sister Bateman. Kirsty, I haven't finished. You're late. Yeah, I'm so sorry I overslept. I'd like an explanation as to why you didn't turn up for your last shift. Um, I think it was a mix-up with the rotor and um, my mobile broke. So. And is that the mobile that Charlie rang you on this morning? Yeah, I got a replacement. That's it, Kirsty. Oh, God. that's enough. I'm afraid I'm calling HR. No, 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 no. Just please don't. I promise. It won't happen again. Let's be around one more time and I'm calling HR to launch a formal investigation. No mistakes, Kirsty. I'm deadly serious. Kirsty. Tess was wondering if you'd done that dressing in cubicle two. That was on the naughty step. Oh, ha, ha. Hello, by the way. Hello. Uh, your things aren't done. Thanks. Everything right? Nothing three years of sleep wouldn't cure. Accidental stabbing on its way in. ETA two minutes. Go, go, go! Has anyone seen Kirsty? <sighs> Kirsty, we've got incoming. I'm there. You're back. Never went away. Okay, this is Kate, 42. She's got a puncture wound to the chest from the kitchen knife. Okay. Sats of 98, pulse 120, BPs 115 systolic, shortness of breath. Number one, please. All right, hi there, Kate. My name's Kirsty. Now, we're going to be taking really good care of you today. Does anyone come in with you? Yeah. Do you want us to call anyone? No. I'd rather stay behind at the restaurant as well, because uh, that's a landline and mobile if you can give them a call as and when. Uh, the wound wasn't bleeding excessively or sucking, but we've applied a Nashman's valve dressing as a precaution. OK, on three, please, ladies and gents. One, two, three. And over on three. One, two, three. Three. What's that, darling? All right, let's get her sorted as quick as we can. All right, Kate, do me a favour. I want you to try and not think about what's happened today. You've got something nice you can look forward to. My husband's funeral. Air entry and breast sounds on both sides of her chest seem normal. It makes a lung injury unlikely. I don't want to waste everyone's time. Don't be silly. You've got nothing better to do. I think he's low 100 over 70. She's tachycardic at 120. Mm. Muffled heart sounds. Uh, okay, wait, can you call the radiographer, please? We need to get a chest x-ray down here fast. I think we might be looking at a cardiac tamponade. Uh, Jake, can we get a second line in, please? You're in any pain there, Kate? I'm, not, I'm ready to let go. I'm, I'm ready, ready to go. go. Uh, BP's low. Stay with us, Kate. Right, we need to get uh, bloods off for a trauma screen as soon as we can. Can we see if we've got any history for her? Kate, you're extremely distressed. I can see how much you're struggling, but you have to keep going. BP 90 over 40, heart rate at 140. Never give up. Uh, neck veins are distended. Uh, OK, let's prep for pericardiocentesis. Kirsty, sterile pack, gown, gloves, drapes, cannula, 20 mil syringe, quick as we can, please. Don't worry about the gown. Let's get the gloves, please. Yeah, sorry. sorry. So you're not up for this. You want to take a break? No. No more mistakes. OK, here we go. Jay, can you check on the status of the radiographer? Sure. Right.
Okay, her heart rate's coming down. Okay, she's stabilized. Don't know for how long. All right, All right ladies and gents, gents, let's clear the room, please. <clears throat> All right, Kirsten. A word, please. Yeah. Okay, X-ray. Can't. That's not a suggestion, Kirsty. Twenty minutes shut eye, or don't expect me to cover for you again. She's going off. Okay, Jay, chase up that trauma screen and the cross match blood, too, please. We need to find out what's going on here. Can someone hang up two units of Oneg in the meantime. Uh, right, we need to find a, another possible site for the bleeding. Right, she's got an old scar here. Do we know what that is? Have we got our records yet? Got them here. Okay, good. We need to establish whether there's an ongoing issue with the or whether the problem is with the abdomen. Jay, it's it's got an ultrasound down here, please. Oh, and, uh, can you page Mr. Jordan? She deteriorates any further, we may need to crack her chest. Kirsty, have we done? Kirsty. Sorry, uh, <clears throat> no, there's nothing in the records. What, no medical procedure, no surgery? Not here. Well, someone's got to know if she's had surgery. There's her brother back in the restaurant. Fine, call him, as quick as he can, it might help. Um, while I'm going, can I grab a script for Ritalin? I'm sorry, I forgot. Mum in cubicle three mislaid her kid's dose. Ultrasound is being used in CDU. Well, get it back then. What, 10 milligrams? Get on to the brother, okay? Thank you, yes. Thank you. Dr. Truman, uh, your sister's losing a lot of blood. We're waiting for a slot in theatre, but uh, we don't have much time. Okay. Is someone alive? Uh, no, not yet. Listen, Nick, do you mind taking a look at this scarf for me, please? Also, be on standby because we need to crack our chest. Yes. Frank, I'm afraid your sister is very unwell. We think she's bleeding into her belly. Now, you can see she's had some abdominal surgery in the past, but we've got no record of it in our notes. We were hoping you might be able to shed some light. I, I don't understand. We just need to know what operation she's had recently. She hasn't had an operation. Well, she has. That's about a year ago. That's Giles well healed. As if by magic. About time. Could you go and please, Wayne? Well, about a, a year ago, they spent a couple of months in France. OK, can we hang up another unit, please, and let's have four more on standby? Jay, chase up that theatre slot. We've gone from urgent to top priority now. Sure. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back. There. Well, is that her? Looks like she's had half her liver removed. She hasn't. What did Kate's husband die from? Um, complications. Hepatitis C. Ah. Thinking of liver donation in a French hospital? It's a treatment for hep C. Well, that would explain why it's not in her notes. She'll need an urgent laparotomy. OK. Uh, it looks like your sister has been very generous and very unlucky. She's deteriorating. Get her up the stairs. Let's take pressure bags and extra blood. You all right? I'm fine. Hey, Molly. Her chest x ray was normal. We drained 75 mils in the pericardium. Fast scan shows there's free fluid in the abdomen and a lack to the liver. A portion of which has already been exercised in an unsuccessful chemical liver. How long's cubicle three been empty? All day. I thought Kirsty had some kid in there. No, the wall suction's not working. We're not using it. Okay. Thanks.
Hello? She's so deaf. Kirsty? Kirsty, you all right? It's Adam. There's no ECG moments from here. Just grab that defib, will you? We'll get a reading off that. BP, quick as you can, please. He's probably taking something to try and stay awake. Hello? Get rid of that. Everything all right in there? Yeah, Adam's performing a rectal examination of a patient I'm chaperoning. Right. Well, if you're sure you can manage. Yeah. 80 over 50. Very low. Right, she's got a narrow complex tachycardia. She's hypertensive. We're going to have to shock her. <laughs> oh, to away, please. Stone clear. Charged. Clear. And... Shocking. Right, she's back in sinus rhythm. Is she going to be okay? I think so. You scared me. Look, Kirsty, you can tell me to keep my big nose out of it, but you need to tell someone what's going on. I just need to sleep. Oh, OK. <clears throat> well, I'll, uh, I'll run you home, as long as there's someone at home to take care of you, and as long as you promise to call me if you start to feel any worse. OK. OK. Easy to... Um... Uh, actually, just... I got a better idea. Stay there. Hello? Hello, hello? Hey, Christian. Afraid I need the room, mate. I just pulled a double. I booked it. Look, it's on the router. Not anymore. Sorry. Give a couple of minutes to move the stuff out. We could. It's okay. You can shut your eyes. I'll wait here till you go to sleep. Adam, this is Warren, Kirsty's husband. Oh, right. Hi. 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 Uh, cheers, man. Cheers. So it's raining out. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. Kirsty was due back a while ago now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a pretty busy shift, actually. Oh. Right. Uh, yeah, Kirsty's she's pretty tired, actually. She's having a lie down in the on call room. I'll get her to give you a call when she I'll wakes say, well, up. Well, I'll come with you if that's all right. No, I've got a car, I'll take it home. It's always nice if you wake up in your own bed, you know. Surrounded by your own teddies, isn't it? Uh, yeah, sure, it's just fine. Sleepyhead. Come to take it all. Um, Kirsty Kirst really needs someone to keep an eye on her. She's been working really hard. Dr. Truman's a worrier. Yeah, well. Not worth worrying about, aren't you?
Your husband called a couple of times. Did he leave a message? No. Do you mind if I just... Go ahead. Warren, it's me. You call about eight times, you don't leave a message, I call you back, you don't pick up. I'm worried now. No. Anyone asks, I'm on my break. Okay. I wish you'd just said it was a bad day. I wouldn't have left you to circle. What am I supposed to say, eh? You know, I struggle getting out of bed, climbing stairs, even getting to the loose sometimes. You can't help me with that, can you? But you think as soon as you're out of the door that this all magically wears off. Like it's some performance for your benefit. I just think if I keep coming home like this, I'm going to lose my job. I hope you told them at work. No. Why would you? They don't think Emmy's real either. That's what people who work in hospitals are like. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, under duress. Oh, Warren, we've been over this like a oh, million... Well, I'm sorry for being so repetitive. Can you help me up, please? I need to go to the loo. Of course I can. Come on. All right. No, you're going to have to take me at school. I'm not up to it. OK. OK, fine. Back to work, then. I know you don't get there. Freedom, camaraderie. No one there draining you. I look after people there, too, you know. I'll see you in the morning. I love you. Touch him. Warren, don't do this to me again. I'm gonna lose my job. I know you've got them. Okay. Kirsty, where have you been? It's on my break. That wasn't a break, that was a holiday. It's supposed to be doing neuro ops on Jason Spears. No, hang on. A nurse was supposed to be doing neuro ops. It wasn't solely my responsibility. Okay, so what happened to you? My car keys went missing. You went off site? Kirsty, come on. I can cover for you up to a point. But this budget thing is gonna cost jobs. You know, we've all gotta be on top of our games here. I guess this is a bad time to ask you for a favor. Hey, I know things haven't been great today, but that's a little harsh. Thought you weren't coming. Well, I said I would, didn't I? It's a two-seater. So how are we supposed to get Nita to school in that? We're not. You are. <laughs> you want me to drive that thing? Why, you got a problem with that? No, I'm a great driver. Good. Here's the plan. I drive you to yours. You familiarise yourself with the vehicle. <laughs> and... I walk on from there. It's, uh, it's on my way home anyway. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Come on, get in. <laughs> You're real smooth, you know that. Seatbelt, please. Just here. Uh, I thought we were picking up your daughter. We are, yeah. I've told her to meet us here. OK. So, uh, so we wait here. <laughs> I 
I know waiting's an alien concept to the great Dr. Truman, but you know what? You should try it. It's fine. I'm happy to wait. It'd be good for you. I'm waiting. This is me waiting. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? Yes, I can. I'm doing it now. <laughs> you can't. It's fine. You can go. I mean, you were walking from here anyway. Let's shift. You might want that. Oh, thank you. And don't lose those keys, OK? I know you have form. So my car keys are gone. I didn't say I lost them. Right, OK. Are you, you sure you're...? I'm fine. All right. You are familiar with the clutch, right? What are you doing? I said I was fine. Honestly, Neat will be here anyway. Well, just turn those off for a start. It's useful when it's raining, but irritating. Yeah, otherwise. all right, thanks for the sarcasm. What are you trying to do? Move the seat? Yeah, I'm trying to move well, the seat, but I can't. Can Not that one! No, what is it? That's the ejector seat. You're not funny. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to upset you. I was just a, that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, what's wrong with that? Hey, you're a mess. Dusty, <coughs> look at me. Look at me. Mark? What are you doing? Hi, darling. <clears throat> Come on. I just went out for a drink. Oh. I'm burning you. I'm oh no, don't worry. Come here, don't worry. Stop it, well. Come on. Oh, you're not angry with me, are you? I'm not angry. No, come here. I'm not angry. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come Come here. 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 And I wasn't sure if I should call the doctor again. Has this happened before? Yeah, a few times. Dad told me to call an ambulance. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, let's get you uh, looked at, Warren. Thank you. I had to make sugar. I know it's upsetting to see your dad on well. He didn't just faint. How do you mean? It didn't just happen. He was upset. Go on. Well, I was brushing my teeth and I heard this bang, so I ran to your bedroom. He'd thrown your drawer on the floor and he was going through your things and crying. He stuck it in the drawer. Then he fainted. Only for a few seconds, really, and I got him some water. I was going to call the doctor. He wanted the ambulance. He wouldn't have it any other way. It was really scary. <sighs> I'm so sorry, darling. What is wrong with you? Hey, there you are. 
Well, results are normal so far. I think we can put the fainting down to um, the beta blockers he was prescribed. Uh, you okay? Yeah, sure. Right. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to run an echo, so I'll give Dr. Mark. Hey, Kirstie. No, 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 don't touch it. You cut yourself. Hey, hey, you want to... Tell me what's going on. You could be here till next Christmas running tests. You wouldn't find a bloody thing. It's all in his head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you don't know what it's like. He's so bitter. He gets so angry and he winds himself up. I can't take it anymore. Well, I mean, I can. I do every day, but she shouldn't have to. Kirsty. She was scared of him. Right, who? Nita. Today, she was scared. You know, I keep telling myself it'll get better, that I can make this better, but I can't. Okay, okay, okay. No, it can't be okay. That's not okay. Yes, it, no. it will, all right? It will. No, it won't. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. It will. Hey. Yes, it will. Trust me, it will. Uh, have we got the left ventricular systolic and diastolic measurements? Where's Neil? He's just watching some telly. Oh, we could be onto something. Uh, Mark, thank you for that. Right, Warren, your heart is uh, ever so slightly enlarged. Your ECG shows you have what we call left bundle branch block. So what are you saying? You saying it wasn't ME all along? Is that right? Uh, well, it looks to me like what we're dealing with might be nothing more than a mild case of cardiomyopathy. And that would certainly explain the tiredness. We'll start you on some tablets. We'll get you an outpatient's appointment just to confirm things. But you should be able to be discharged today. Well, that is good news. Oh, that's great news. I mean, I was going out of my mind. See, Kirsty, there is something wrong with me. Yes, but as Dr. Truman just explained, it's not life-threatening. Yeah, but come on. This is the best Christmas present I've ever had. Isn't it? Yeah. Adam, thank you. Seriously. Oh. You're welcome. Uh, that hand there, would you do me a favour? Would you raise your arms over your head? Why? Just try to raise your arms above your head, please. What? Not just be weakness. Faintness, no? Are you sure you haven't something else muscular, like, I don't know, difficulty opening door? Um, no, nothing more than usual. Dragging feet, perhaps? Yes, all the time, but I just assumed that that was him. Well, we'll have to wait for the blood results and we'll organise an electromyogram and a biopsy down the line, but that collection of symptoms looks a lot like muscular dystrophy. It's one of those things that comes on slowly. Often, patients themselves don't realise anything's wrong for a long time. It's notoriously difficult to diagnose in the early stages. Muscular dystrophy. But if that's... I'll never be able to leave. Creatine kinase levels in your blood are substantially elevated. Uh, this along with the palpitations, the enlarged heart, the falls, the myotonia, unfortunately are all strong indicators of muscular dystrophy. Uh, now you'll have to see a neurologist. What do you mean? Muscular dystrophy? It's a very serious condition, Warren. In the future, you'll start to lose muscle bulk and muscle strength will start to deteriorate and that will lead to your becoming dependent on a wheelchair. No more. Well, it will weaken your heart and your lungs, and that in turn can lead to secondary problems. Just for a second there. I thought I got off. 
What? Look, I'm aware it's a big blow. Kirsty, will you please talk to I me? I knew it. I told you. What? That it wouldn't be okay. And it isn't now, that's for sure. Oh, hang, hang on a sec. What happened this morning? That's this morning is just... a long time ago. I'm going to look after him. My husband. And my daughter. Don't. Don't say sorry. Are you hungry? I can make us something. So what are you sorry for? What? What are you? Sorry for. We both know what's coming, don't we? So why don't you just get on with it? Sorry. Just thinking about work. Do you really have to go to work today, Mum? I'm afraid so. But it's Sunday. People still get sick, even on a Sunday. <sighs> right, time will be late. Excuse me. Later, yeah. Get crazy, we need bloods for cubicle three, please. Is it just me or are we short staffed again? Just once I'd like to work a weekend shift where nobody calls in sick. Don't tell me Jay's off again. You will? Oh, fantastic. I love you. Bye. Now to be here in an hour. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just um, pulled a muscle or something in my back. Just mucking about with Nita. So Ruth's in again? She insisted. Really? I thought after what happened with Edward, she'd want to stay well clear of this place. Apparently, she's put it all behind her. It might be an idea if we kept an eye on her. Hey, did you get my message? I left yeah, you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Thanks. I've uh, just been a bit hectic. Right. Sounds a new year. Sorry, I need to chase something. Thanks for my pen. Oh. Don't mention it. Leave me alone! All right, all right. All right, listen, we can't help you unless you keep still, Harry. I don't think he's open to reasoned debate right now. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, that's so cool. Can't say I don't have some moves, eh? Not your first time in the ring, by the looks of things. Actually, can you take it from here? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Have you seen Mr. Jordan? Sorry, Henry, I can't help you there. Mm. On the dock, Dr. Lyons. Let's go into her. Oh, she's an evolving tyrant. It's like Jordan's gone AWOL. That's management for you. No, I'm serious. Henry seems to think he's walked off ship. Really? Good for him. Wouldn't mind going home myself. Face the wrath of Nita. Sorry, I meant your, your back. You said you were mucking around with her. All oh, right. Yeah. If you can't enjoy a bit of horse play with your daughter. Well, judging by the size of those bruises, that's quite a horse. Looks painful, actually. Don't be soft. I'm fine. Yeah, sure. 
Well, just so you know, I'm always here if you ever feel things at home are... Things at home are what? Okay, this is Karen Wilkes. has got an injury to her right arm, superficial bleeding from a foreign object, possible fracture to hand. Sats of 97, pulse 118, she's had 10 and more of green. On three, one, two, three. And over, please. One, two, three. <sighs> Bad back. You want to watch that, kid? Yeah. Karen, hi there. I'm Dr. Truman. Tell us what happened to you. What did Eddie say? Um, he didn't pick up. Thanks for trying. That's okay. Um, Oscar, could you please take Karen through to cubicle four? Thanks. Excuse me. Yes, Would you be able to do one more? I, um, I got pushed by an old drunk. It's been really hurting here ever since. I mean, it's probably nothing, but I thought I should get it checked out. Health and safety and all that. Come on, then. Yeah. Cheers. You're sick in the head! Uh, how are we doing with that ultrasound? Uh, they said ten minutes. That was half an hour ago. OK, let's try and hurry them along. She's complaining of shoulder pain. There might be a problem. Any luck tracking down a boyfriend? He's not answering. Oh, she seems to think he's got cold feet. Yeah. Aren't men lovely? Look, I wasn't trying to meddle before. I'm just concerned about you, you know? Well, thank you, but there's no need. Adam, radiology said both sets of X-ray are up in the server. Both sets? I only asked for one. <laughs> I don't know, mate. He said that uh, uh, Karen Wilkes and a patient K. Um, patient K? Yeah, that'll be one of mine. Cheers, Lenny. I'll take a look later. Dixie. The rib injuries that worry me the most. There's also the healing callus on the clavicle and... Well, that's just the bone injuries. I should get back to work. I spoke to radiology. I know who patient K is. Well done. Well done. Great piece of detection, Dr. Truman. Your work here is done. Actually, it isn't. I need to examine you. <laughs> not a chance. Kirsty, these are serious injuries. As a doctor, it would be remiss of me not to check you over. You're not my doctor. Please, help me here! There's a lot of bruising, but no new fractures. Indestructible, I am. I don't think he's going to stop, Kirsty. You never know. People change. Was well, that why you stay? Because you hope that one day he's going to stop doing this to you? You okay for painkillers? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Thank you. Patience. Makes you wonder where they all come from, eh? Warren. Uh, are you, are you... Sorry, what are you, what are you doing here? I'm looking for Kirsty. Got a surprise on. A special occasion? Nah, I don't need an excuse about my wife flowers, do I? So, uh, is she about? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's around somewhere. Actually, I don't know. Um, I brought these to cheer up a bit, you know. She's been a bit down recently. Is that a fact? Yeah. Not too sure why. Genuinely believes, maybe, eh? You reckon? She answers nothing to you, has she? No. But you know, Kirsty, she's not the sort to bring her problems to work. Problems? I didn't say nothing about problems, mate. I just said that she was a bit down, that's all. Well, either way, um, she hasn't said anything. So. Mm -hmm. 
No. I'll tell you what, why don't you give it ease? Oh, no. No, go on, just uh, drop by. You wait a minute, she'll be back. No, it's all right. I'll see you later. I don't know. It's the answer. Kirsty. I don't know why I stay. Warren was here. What? Where is he now? I don't know. He left. Are you sure? What did you say to him? Nothing. Adam, what exactly did you say? I don't know what I should have said. Oh, I've got to get home. What? No. Hey, Kirsty, wait a second. Hey, hang on, hang on. Hey, listen to me, please. I've seen what he did to me. You can't go home. After the shift's finished, can't stay here. But he'll be there. Of course he will. He's my husband. I'm sorry, I can't let you go. What choice do I have? Well, stay at mine tonight. We'll pick up Nita and... And, and then what? Uh, okay, I don't know, but it's got to be better than this. You've got to let me go. I can't be late for him. There's no way she's going to come to Warren? Nita? Hiya. <sighs> Missed the bus. I know, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for the beautiful flowers. You all right? Yeah. Where's Nita? Don't worry about her. She's staying at a mate's tonight. So how's that done? Oh, come on, let's not do this. That's why you're late, though, isn't it? I told you. The bus. You're a terrible lie, Kirsten. Oh, come on, Warren, don't do this. Not tonight. I really, do you know, I don't have it in me. No. All right, then. to you too. You didn't think I'd forget, did you? No. You always was a good liar. Been thinking a lot about those days, you know. Had a mega bowl. You were your mates, me with mine. You were always moaning about having to wear those smelly hard shoes. Morning. Morning. Now you got your own. Maybe we can go back. Sweet thought. What about today? It's 
supposed to be special in it. Best I can do it while I can still stand up. Be good for us to spend time on our own. Okay. Okay. So what about work? Bring in. Like you say, I always was a good liar. Well, space fit is in, you know, in a fire service, would have And you had a better uniform. All the shoes. Yes. <laughs> they look great. <laughs> Go on, then. Sure, you're up for this. Yeah. For you. I want us to have a good time, but I don't. Well, I don't just mean for today. I know what you mean. Go on then. Remember what I used to say. <laughs> that was 15 years ago, Warren. Not to me. <laughs> just concentrate on that front pin. And roll. With the head. <laughs> and what's wrong? Tell me, where does it hurt? Just it. <laughs> Enjoying yourself. Yeah. I forgot how great it is. Taking all your frustrations out on those pins. They keep popping back up, don't they? Maybe we should come more off. Maybe we should. <sighs> Never used to have a rest, did we? Never used to have a lot of things. Look, I just don't want you to feel as if you're stuck with me. I can't change being ill. I can't change who I am. You're a passionate person. But I knew that from the start. I knew it from watching you in here. And yeah, sometimes that's a double-edged sword. Better for worse, eh? Sickness and in health. Thought you phoned in. I did. Well then, answer it. Uh, yeah, so just um, call me back when you get a minute. Okay, bye. Is it all right? Katie Jameson. How did you manage that? Following doctor patient guidelines. You should try it sometime. So what now? No. I think the joints just tightened up, that's all. That was too much to ask. It's that easy, isn't it, at all? To have a whole day without Florence Nightingale turning up. <sighs> I don't think there's any point in us going into the ED. Not even to see Dr Kildare. Don't do this, Warren, please. Hey. 
Um, patient's gone missing at work. A schizophrenic girl that they could do with your RMN skills. Plus, your phone was off. I was uh, kind of worried. You left your shift to come here? Yeah, it's practically finished anyway. Are you insane? What, are you ill? No, I uh... am. Yeah. Warren needs me. He's having a bad day. Getting yourself cursed to you know that. You go. You'll cross the line. The only danger of doing that is you. Please don't come here again. So you want your advice on a mentally ill patient? Is that what you say? I've told you three times. What do you reckon, Nate? Do you reckon she's telling the truth? I mean, your man was always a good liar, wasn't she? Oh, you think it was Doctor Kildare, eh? Making last-minute plans for Operation Dump the Cripple. Stop it. What? I'm passionate, remember? Or oh, was that our lies too, was it? Was it? What was your bowling name, Dad? Please. <laughs> My bowling name? Me. I was Warren the Fury Clements. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I still am! <laughs> <laughs> Come upstairs now. <laughs> Are you happy now, are you? Are you? Times, eh? How many times? I've got it Kirsty, I was going to put some coffee on if you. Morning. You look ill, sir. No, I don't. You're such a good liar now, are you? Shall I put the kettle on? You what? Do you want coffee? Coffee? Is that it? I'm sorry about last night. You won't desert us again like that. I was worried. And you got physio to get to? Not until two. We can't live on a knife edge, you know. No wondering what time you'll be coming home, if you'll be coming home. I know. Just don't leave me again. I needed some space, you know. See, next time, we can't promise that we'll be here waiting for you. Do you understand me? It was selfish of me. I won't do it again. Promise me you won't leave me. See it. 
promise. Let's get a coffee. OK, I won't keep you. Morning. Right, what happened yesterday to Dr Winters happened. No one is to blame. Where is she? She's been sectioned and she's in psych. How can you say we're not to blame? We spend more time with our colleagues than we do our family and friends. What, Mick? This one thing of Hayden embarrassing rash. This is a completely different issue. I feel a bit odd that none of you lot picked up on it, mate. I feel bad enough without you rubbing it in. Look, can we just move on and get on with our jobs, please? Dig deep. What are we going to get her? I think of something. And do you get a, a get well soon card, or is that inappropriate? What, in sympathy? She's not dead. How's this sound? Hi, Ruth. We're all thinking of you. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Take care, Tess. Kiss, kiss. Sounds fine. That's not personal enough. Jordan was on top form. Pastoral care is not his forte. How can you say we're not to blame? Of course we're to blame. What did I say? Have you got a second? It's urgent. Or you may have some Ruth issues to deal with. Hey, you missed out on my special breakfast this morning. Sorry, I had to get back. Kirsty, I'm not stupid. I've seen women in your situation before. Sorry. Well, let's just say I'm not holding my breath. Warren might be a thug, but that doesn't mean you're ever going to leave him. Hello, yes, it's at the Meadows Hotel. Uh, can I book a twin room for tonight, please? Yes, I would, please. It's Sarah Jones. Mrs. Yeah, and then... You tell me how long it takes to get from the hotel to the airport. You urgently about Mr Johnson's results? Ah, uh, OK. Thank you, Tess. Uh, the wound edges look OK. Lenny, you're going to have to take over here. Suture the ribs section. I'll get on to Obs and Gynie. Judging by your scar, I'd say your baby's, what, a few weeks old, is that right? OK, there's your wet saline soaks. OK, there, sweetheart, try not to worry. The police are doing everything. Are you OK? Yeah. <laughs> Cubicles. I'm OK, I'm fine. Cubicles, I'll be with you in five minutes. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine, honestly. It's in the back of your head now, have you? Seriously, Tess, I feel fine. You don't need to bother. This is already here. Yeah, no, I, I banged my head yesterday. It must have reopened. It's not very good. I'm sure you've seen worse. OK. I'll get it cleaned up. Why do you take the rest of the day off? No, no, I'm fine. Excuse me. Who's the boss? Best one I ever had. <laughs> must be a nasty bang to the head. Dear Ruth, some trash to take your mind off things. Uh, take your mind off things. <clears throat> hey. I'm just checking my emails. Is everything all right? Nothing a hug wouldn't cure. Hey, come on. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. you. Sure, you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Never better. Why'd you disappear to? Jordan's got me sifting through all of Ruth's notes over the past few weeks. What? 
The first kid brought in a vomiting was treated by Ruth for an insect bite last week. It's food poisoning, isn't it? Hope so. Kirsty, are you still here? I am. Um, kept being held up. What's up? Kirsty, how come you? She was pushed over by Ronnie and opened a pre-existing wound in the back of her head. It's nothing. Really? Let, let me let me have a look. Seriously, it's Tess being overcautious. I'm going. Um, Tess, have you got any cubicles that Ronnie can wait in? Bob's and Gania are coming down for her soon. Give me five minutes. You're welcome. Listen, sweetheart, I don't have time for exploring it all now. We'll pick you up from school and then we're going. Yeah, I'll go home and I've got other things. I've got to go, sweetheart. Don't, don't worry, OK? Going somewhere? No. I heard you. Sorry. You weren't going to tell me. We've got to start afresh somewhere. Somewhere he can't find us. You're not coming back. Look, Warren's out now. I need to get home and pack. I'm sorry. justify themselves. You know, just saying it was harder than it actually was. <laughs> I just know the longer it goes on, the less likely she'll be found. Hey, honey, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get someone to come and sit with you, all right? <laughs> Surprise. Where were you going? Warren, please. Why won't you answer the question? Not in front of Nita. Where were you going? Nowhere. No. Let's see, shall we? No, Get no. your hands off the bag. Get off! Let's see what you were taking on this trip to nowhere, shall we? What's this? It's odd, isn't it? These are Nita's clothes, aren't they? Did you know about this trip as well, did you? Hey! Go up to your room. I'm talking to me daughter! Go to your room. <laughs> Kirsty, it's me. Look, Hello, I... Adam. Warren. believe you. I don't care whether you believe me or not. Well, you should. I'm telling you. Do you blame me for wanting to get away after what you did? What? You stay at some doctor's house and I'm in the wrong, am I? I was with Sandra. Yeah. 
where were you going with all this stuff? Me! As far away from you as possible. Well, I'll tell you what. You can put it back. Because you are going nowhere. All right? You promised me. You promised me you wouldn't leave me. So why would you leave me? Because I won't put me to through it. You're a thug, and you can't be trusted. <laughs> Go on, then. Go on, then. Do it. Do it. Are you okay? If you can hear me, squeeze my hand. Yeah. Although he's able to move, he's still not obeying commands, but uh, hopefully that'll calm. Uh, no, you just calm down, Warren. Yeah, I know it's disconcerting, but uh, he is making progress. We should stop progressing. Hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I tried calling you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just that I really. Yeah. I know. So, how's he doing? Making progress, apparently. And that's good. Got you some tea. Dreaming about us to get, and I'm so happy. And then I wake up, and I'm still sitting there looking at him. It's not too late. Um, Adam, this is Kathy, Warren's mum. Oh, uh, this me. Well, I was, I was on my way out. I'll go with you. Later, sweetheart. Don't be silly. I've seen him now, haven't I? 
Dad wouldn't want me missing school. She's been like this all morning. I had to practically drag her here to see her own father. But what's the point? It's not like he knows I'm here, is it? I'll see your parent teaching me too. Oh, um, I actually need to... I've asked your nana to take you tonight, OK? But you promised. I think I'm free. You'll do as you're told. Adam can take me. He knows where my school is, and plus, he has a cool car. <sighs> Sorry, I should, uh, should deal with this. Excuse me. Adam? Please, you see what my nan's like. Look, Nita, it's really not appropriate. I'm sorry. Get back in there right now. You're making a right show of yourself. What's happened to my lovely little granddaughter? She turned into an evil little cow. Nita! Back up and leave me alone! I really think we should... Oh, it's bigger. Hello, love. You haven't seen Nita, have you? Uh, no, sorry. Control. No, she isn't. I just need to speak to her. Refusing to see her dad one minute, flirting with that doctor the next. A grown man. He's a friend. Oh, I could see that. Look, I'll deal with it, OK? Well, you better or I will. She's not too old for a good smack. Oh, because that's your family's answer to everything, isn't it? And what's that supposed to mean? What do you think? Warren's a good man. Good men. Don't beat their wives. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? They're never just black and white, Kirsty. I'm just trying to make you see that what? That violence is acceptable sometimes. Well, no, of course not. But there are degrees. Jimmy wasn't an easy man, either. He believed in firm discipline. Firm dis... It's called abuse, Cathy. He got frustrated. He lost control, but I always knew that he loved me. I used to be like you. Told myself all that. Believed I could make it better. But you know what? We can't. And I'm sorry, I can't do it anymore. Warren needs your support. What do you think I've been doing for the last 15 years? Well, perhaps if you stop provoking him. What? Adam seems very interested in you, for a friend. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? What are you planning on doing, Kirsty? Running off and making a nice new life for yourself? Well, Warren lies there helpless. What sort of an example is that setting your daughter? You married him, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. Don't worry, it's good news. His breathing and the cough and gag reflexes are much stronger. So we decided to remove his tracheostomy. Hi. Shh. Don't rush, love. Take your time. Thank you so much, Doctor. I'll go and see if I can find Nita. All right. <gasps> what happened?
Warren's conscious. Properly, now. Okay. Okay, Kirsty. No, don't. I know what you're gonna say, and I'm sorry, but it's it's just not possible. I have to put Nita first. He's gone. Back to ICU? I told him what I saw. He had a right to know. A right to know what? <laughs> Warren, what on earth are you doing here? What's up? Camping your style, I'm up. You're very ill. You Please, your hands off me, you! I bet you loved it, didn't you? Hey, me up there. You down here, free to mess with my wife whenever you want her. Mess with... It, it wasn't Shut like... up, you bastard! I heard... Nia begging you to take her parents' evening. I bet you loved that, didn't you? Hey... You've not got kids of your own, have you? So what are you? Some sort of pervert preying on women and children. That'd be ridiculous, Warren. It was enough for you to have me wife, was it? You wanted me daughter. Well, I'll tell you something, you're having neither of him, do you hear me? My family is all I've got left. So you stay away from us, do you understand? Get your own life. Cause you ain't having mine. Adam, Warren's gone AWOL. Uh, yeah, I know. It's just alerting security. You've seen him? Oh, he was in the staff room. What the hell's going on? Kathy saw us together, got the wrong idea. But what's he even doing down here? The man shouldn't be able to walk. We need to find him. All right, I'll take the upper floors. You take admin and cubicles. Yeah. You can't have gone far. Sorry. Anyone in here? Oh, my God. Warren. Okay, it's me. All right. Come on. Come on, let's get up. Up we go. Okay, I got you. Okay. Look at me. Thank you. 
Don't you dare walk away from me! Excuse me. I think my daughter in law might be down here. Can I stick with Clements? Oh, I did see her about 20 minutes ago. Now. Warren! Oh my god, what happened? He's found collapsed in the corridor. Noel, get Kirsty down here now. Right. Noel's. anywhere near my son. That's your right, and I can do this alone. If you want to give him his best chance, if you really want both of us. Mum? You OK? He's awake, isn't he? I'm sorry for being such a cow earlier. You have got nothing to be sorry for. Come here. Come on. Love you. I love you, darling. This calf's firm and hot. He must have a DBT. Getting up suddenly could have got the clock moving. Oh, we should thrombolize. Uh, let's try Red Place. Right then, come on, we better get going. Where? The parent teacher meet him. Oh, but I do want to see Dad. No, oh, come on, we both need a break from this place. And besides, I want to hear how clever you are. and shine. <laughs> Made you a cuppa. Oh, great. Uh, thanks. Thanks again for staying over last night. With Nita away, I just didn't want to be on my own. Come here. You okay? Fascinating. The sperm and the egg. Who knew? It's quite rich. Oh, it's interesting stuff. I always thought babies came from stalks. I was thinking, maybe at break, we could have a little biology lesson ourselves. What, you think I'm a slut, do you? Eh? Is that the only reason you want to be with me? Take it easy. Some sleazy broke by the bike shed. Is that all I am? Chill out. Stop touching me! Oh. Oh. 